Shalom everyone. Welcome to season six, episode one. Uh, I've made a banging cup of tea here. It's it's really nice. Nearly finished. Hold on. Oh, it's so nice. Um, what else? Yeah, happy new year. I believe this is the first of January. This is going up. Um, twenty twenty two. Uh, yeah. Uh, as you can tell, this is pre-recorded, so don't shit the bed. Uh, I forgot to send my scout out, and I skipped ahead by one day because the edit club thing, when you press forward on that, it skips a day. Yeah, so I forgot to do that. Uh, another thing that I need to say, you can probably see Asensio there. This is, uh, what's his name? Sergio Ramos' regen. Uh, you'll notice I've got four foreign players now. I'm going to try to defend this. So... Our limit is three. I've got four in the squad. You can see I only have one player left, and Jack Tweet was renewed by the club by itself. The club just decided to renew them. So I don't have reserve. If I get rid of Asensio, I have no other backup players. Uh, that's why I have Sergio Ramos in there. Uh, I am currently negotiating with McGrath to try to get him back. For some reason, I just completely got rid of him. Not that he's going to be useful, but it'd be nice to have him there. I am scouting Connor Nuss and Ronan Moran to try to get them into the club. I have no idea what ratings they're going to be. Um, in terms of who's retiring, uh, Lewandowski, uh, Messi, they're both retiring. I would do a shit ton to have Messi in the squad. And Lewandowski is obviously a quality player. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's where I am at the moment. I believe I said I was going to promote Dare Fitzpatrick due to my... Player shortage. Oh shit! I was supposed to. I was supposed to write that writing down. Shit. Okay. Right. Well, I've already. I've already messed up. Yeah. So uh, basically, what I'm saying is we're, we're kind of screwed. Like we don't have a lot of options. Um. Yeah. So that's my my reasoning for having Sergio Ramos regen there, rather than let him go to waste on a bench. Might as well just have him in the squad. Uh, also, I need players, and he was available. So what I'm going to do is, if I get an offer for him during this window, I will accept it regardless of what it is. If it's under value, someone can literally offer me a packet of Oreos and I'll accept it. And if we don't get an offer for him, well then I'm going to just take it as... Oh, actually, no, I need to explain this better. I'm not explaining it very well. If we get an offer for Asensio, Ramos' region, during this January transfer window, then I will obviously accept it regardless of what it is. If we don't get an offer for him, I'm going to keep him, but I'm not allowed to increase my transfer budget from what it currently is for the rest of the career mode. And I believe it's stuck at 80. Oh, I, I can't. Oh, okay. I, I can't show my budget. What the fuck? Yes. Okay. Class. It's it's glitched to. Okay. Right. Well, I can't show my, my budget there. I think it, it shows anyway, but I wanted to get the graph up. Anyway, my weekly wage budget is currently, uh, oh, 51,000. Okay, weekly wage budget, currently weekly wages. Okay, yeah. So it's 51k. Uh, I believe I've won three trophies, so it can go up to 80,000, which is what it's supposed to be now. It's one tree. I've got another three trophies to win. I think we should scrap them and just cap it at a maximum of 80. If, uh, if I don't have to sell Ramos 3 gen during this window. Uh, I am recording this nearly two months in advance, so unfortunately there's no fan input. Uh, Castelli has an offer. I'm not accepting that as Castelli is quite good. Right, Morin is 66 rated, and Connor Nose is 73 rated. Uh, will I have a look at the other players from here? No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't because I'm going to end up wanting to buy them. Alrighty, so we are into deadline day. Gotten no offers for Asensio or Ramos' regen. So I think we're good to go with what I've got. So I cannot go over 80,000 anymore. And all my players are going to get better and they're going to eventually want to get new contracts. I think I was at like 60k and then I lost a bunch of players due to not being able to sign them. I would have signed everyone up. But uh, no, the, the, the game didn't want to should be, they, I think one of the FIFA, I'm not sure if it was 22 or 20 or 21, but one of them just added whatever contract you agreed to them onto their current contract. I don't know why they got rid of that. I don't know why you'd get rid of that. It's so fucking retarded. Also, Ayala is not worth 20 million. I'm sorry, that guy is worth so much more. Right. 
So just so you know, I'm not bullshitting you. I want to show you transfer history. No, transfer hub, maybe. You can see uh, received offers. Yeah, here you go. This is everyone that has received an offer for me. There is no sign of Asensio there. Well, I accepted him. That's where I signed him. I'm trying to sign Conor Nose, and I went back in for McGrath, and the shortlist is, well, a mess. I can't believe Messi's retiring before Ronaldo. What is that? It's interesting. That's what it is, but I just don't know why to do it. And yes, we still have Adiemo playing right wing for us. Right. They fucking rejected again. Both of them. Shit. Ace McGrath is no longer good enough. I'm going to send out my youth scout now. And I'm going to try get Nose and McGrath to sign up. Right, so we have a goalkeeper now. Well, we have a second goalkeeper. Uh, so that's class. McGrath's back. I don't know why he left. I didn't tell him to leave. Youth player, he decided to go. Just in time for Dundalk. Now, the great news for me is that he's not going to play. And also, Asensio is now settled in to the team. Controversially, I'm going to say. Where right, we can get rid of Redmond. We don't like him. Okay. Let's, um... Let's sim this game because I don't need to play it because we have got Europa League Reign 16 coming up soon. And when we're winning by a mad amount, then that's fine. And would you look at that? Ayala has a 9 point day, so he kicks the season off the way he said. Oh shit, yeah, I need to make him captain. Whoops. Alright, Odomosu is no longer captain. I, uh, Ayala is. Oh, Nose is also accepted. Hang around a week, but at least now we've got some backup players. That's that that's nice. We we have a tiny little bit of death. Depth. Not debt. Well we probably do have death. No, we're actually making profit. Same team to play it again, because there's no need to change winning team. What are we getting? Three two a loss. Wow. Wow. Okay. Seven point six for Ayala. It looks like he has the two mana match to the season so far. Yes he does. Nine point eight down to a seven point six. That's some stark drop. Oh, Ireland want me back. Yes. Hopefully this fixes my little issue. All right, there we go. Now, trying to qualify. Yeah, we got Ireland back. Woo. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Oh, you can tell I'm so happy. No, uh, hopefully it doesn't glitch this time. And we've got Benfica in the Europa League. Class, class. They say never change a winning team. So I'm going to change... Well, I'm not going to change a losing team. There we go. I fucked up my quote. Damn, that was supposed to sound so... So dramatic. And I balls it up. There's no way Ayala has three-man matched in a row. But in nine. He does. Wow. Okay, he's literally carrying the team. Alright, scout report. Let's have a look. Who have you got for me this month? Brendan Finnegan. Thomas Lowry. Anyone else? Or are they all shy? He was worth two million. But I'm not going to sign crap. Now that we have a little bit of depth, there's no need to... Depth. There's no need to... Sign shy. Oh, that's not a good sign. Uh, Wales and Brazil are international friendlies. Hmm. Hopefully Ireland have already qualified. It will be 2026. Yeah, there will be no qualifiers. There will be a tournament. I think. I think that's how it works. Hopefully that's, that's right. Hopefully it's still not screwed because otherwise there's no point doing internationals because this game is so broken. Uh, do we need to play my first team? Five days for us. I think we. I think we're fine to play our first team. I don't see an issue why we can't. We should be winning anyway. And we do. Nice. Ayala gets the fourth man match of the season. Four, oh, four for Ayala. Nine point three. Well, I wonder if that's going to change when I play a match. Because we are about to play a match, guys. I know it's been what like twelve minutes and I haven't played a match. Yeah. Yikes. Anyway. We're playing against Benfica. It's going to be the first team. The team has been playing the entire season. So, no special spooky shit has to be done here. Here we go. Europa Reign 16. This is the furthest I've gotten in this competition. Last time I lost to Brugge in the Reign 32 to bullshit fashion. That was about, what, three seasons ago now? Four? I'm going to say three. Let's try win this, gamers. Rubio to Ayala. Oh, come on, this is it. Yes, 1-0. Ayala is carrying this team. A great assist from Rubio. That was that was good work from him to get the ball. Uh, Doyle is also involved in the build-up there. I'm not going to 
I'm not going to criticize him or ignore his good work. He done well there. That was a great ball. Those two players together are just immense. And Rubio still doesn't have a number on his back. Right, here come Benfica, and we've done enough just to keep him in that corner there. You're going to play it short, and I'm going to just nick that ball off it by... Uh, well, please, can I? No? Arseholes. I want the ball. Sancho, stand strong. Oh, you didn't, but Odomosu bailed you out there. Ramos' regen is not having a having a fun time there. Right, well, they've had their third corner in a row. They're not going to play it short again. It's clearly not working. Why do you keep playing it short? Just hit it in the box. It hasn't worked the last two times. What makes you think it's going to work this time? Yeah, see, there you go. Idiota. There you go, I think that's Italian. Oh, Rubio with a great turn. I see Ayala. Now, I'm not going to pass to Ayala. Oh, I should have passed it to Ayala. Really should have passed it to Ayala there. It's cocky with Rubio. Who won't be? Oh, go on, ref. Ref, penalty. Took him out. Referee, I've been absolutely robbed. Fucking disgusting. Now, Doyle, you just need to keep on to the ball. Wait for someone better to, to open up and pass it to you. There we go. That works. Phillips is better than Doyle. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to shoot there. I completely ball set up. I meant to turn and I fucking hit the shoot button. Balls. Well, that was a terrible attack for me. No cohesion at all. Should have just passed to Ayala and made it 2-0. Oh, fuck me. They have absolutely bent my defense over. Team to be struggling here. Castelli just does enough to get it away. Ayala passed that. No handball. Fuck off. Go on, I dare you. Have a shot. Go on, hit that. Yeah. That's that's no match for my big man, Odomosu, in there. Doyle, I see that run. Uh, also, uh, Gilberto saw that, but... Oh, well, if that was Rubio, we'd be probably true on goal there. Just better chemistry between the two. If he could have, like, their, their fifth or sixth corner of the match already. We're only 36 minutes in. You'd think that they're dominating, but they're really not. But, well, yeah, I suppose they are, technically, possession-based-wise, but... Overall, no, not really. Oh, I see, yeah, they've had more shots, they've had more corners. But we're playing better. Just defensive-wise, we, we just keep hitting it out for corner. It's not like the Odomosu is giving them corners. I think he's giving them one uh, from shots. But it's just my players just hit it out because he brings it to the fucking byline. And then just... Yeah, like that, except my player would have hit it out there. They're not playing great, Benfica. And uh, I'm kind of glad. Ruby, I'm going to need you to make a run. Yeah, that's, that's just the run that I wanted. Oh, if I had kept that in play. Half time, 1 0. 1 0 to the drugs. Okay, let's see if we can do something in the second half. I doubt that we can. Alright, what if we. Any players? No. Ayala and Asensio are in major need. Well, not major need, but they're, they're on my radar for coming off due to lack of fitness. Give it back to Odomosu. Yeah, there you go. He can play sweeper keeper today. There's just no movement from my attack at all. Like, also, I didn't pass there. I, I passed it to Rubio and you didn't go near him. Uh, also, there's just no uh, attacking impetus for my players. Like, no one's moving. So I have to keep passing around the back. Uh, also, I just want to say that because I kept possession for the entire half there, the game made me lose the ball by not aiming it in the direction that I fucking said to aim it in. It does this all the time. This can be proven. If you keep the ball for too long, you will lose the ball. Even if you're just passing around the back for whatever reason, your player will boot it out for a throw-in or one of your players. It could be the perfect pass and he just won't move to the ball and will go out for a throw-in. That's proven fact. You will lose the ball if you keep it for too long. Regardless of pressure or where you pass it. I, I've just been passing around my back. Like, every time I have the ball, it just... I'm barely in their half. And it's because there's no movement up top. Or from midfield or anything. This is the first time I'm actually... Doing well in their half. This second half. And oh look at that. We got a penalty. We got a penalty out of that. Ref, I say that's denying a goal scoring opportunity. Now he's not last man. But he's definitely denied a goal scoring opportunity there. Look he's literally taking a shot. And he got taken out. Uh, we're not having Ryan take this. 
I think Ayala. Yeah, let's have Ayala take this. He's gonna miss it. Watch this. It should be Rubio since he's gonna take it. No, he scores. Nice. Never do Ayala. He is the McGuinness of this career mode. And the worst thing is, he's not even Irish. It's a foreign player that's doing it. Alright, well, Benfica are just chilling around my box again. And we have been playing better since we scored that second goal. It seems to have taken any steam out of Benfica at all, which I'm happy with. Alright, look at Phillips go. Hit that. 3-0. Oh, that should have gone in. That really should have gone in. Oh, I could make subs, actually. I need, I need to do that. I think we'll take Ayala off for... Uh, I don't know. Rubio's coming off for Fitzpatrick. We'll do that one, definitely. Uh, Fagan will come on for Asensio. I don't really have another sub. That one. Heaney for Ryan. There we go. Ayala can stay on because he's on a hat-trick. And captain. Ah, you fucker. You should let me take it. Take my subs. You just went back into the game. Arsehole. Here is Fitzpatrick, and he loses the ball immediately. Yep. Yeah. 51 rated. That's the problem with, with youth players. They're just so low rated that you can barely use them. Uh, I argue that I can't use Fitzpatrick. Ayala to Doyle. Doyle to Fitzpatrick. Oh. I did want to get him to score, but a 2-0 win, I would have taken that going into the game. If the game wants to end. Yeah, class. I think Ayala gets man match. Regardless whether Rubio took that penalty, I think Ayala was going to get man the match. So, let's have a look and see what, what we've got in here. Who is our man the match? It's obviously Ayala. Yeah, he gets a 10. Jesus Christ. Okay, so he's gotten all five man the matches this season. I think we have a clear winner for player of the season already. And it's... Well, we're about halfway through the first video of the season. All right, we're playing the second team. Any first team players in there? Ryan is in there. Well, that's not going to happen. Get him out. Or have you got Nose? Yeah, we do. McGrath is also going to start playing in these games. Give some other players a bit of a rest. All right, second team playing. Uh, quick sim. We should get something out of the game. Ayala cannot get man to match in this game because he's not on the pitch or the bench. But our Nose gets... Man the match on his debut. Now I have a feeling he's not going to be getting many of them in the future, but you know, I'll give him. I'll give him that. Ayala, the one game where I refuse to play him and just get man the match. It's looking a little bit better for a player of the season now. Right, I think I have my team that I'm bringing to these friendlies. This is going to be my main team. This is why I'm showing it. I know it's a bunch of friendlies, but you know, I plan to probably take this team. Oh, I've got five. Five defenders. Oh, I didn't see Bagan. Alright, well, let's not bring him. We don't have any fucking players. Oh, shit. But they're all really bad. We got anyone else that can do stuff? No. No, they're, they're all shit. Uh, it's not like I have any, uh... It's not like I have any of my players that can do anything. Fine, you can stay. Alright, in terms of everyone else... Yeah, this team's kind of shit. Oh dear, what have they done to my team? At least I'm bringing Ryan. I'm bringing Odomosu. That's about it. Right, that squad not going to be using for Ireland from now on. Full team is playing here against Benfica. We're winning 2-0. We really, we really should not get knocked out here. This should be game over. Should just need to pass it around. Chill. And uh, maybe score a goal. Maybe. We'll see how Ayala's feeling today. Because let's be honest, he is the heartbeat of this team this season. But, and last season, he was quite good. So we'll see what happens. Adiemo crossed it into the box. 1-0. 1-0. Brian, yeah. This is this is game over. I'm going to sim it. Uh, I'm going to sim this half, and then if anything happens, then I'm going to jump in. All right, gamers. Uh, we're, we're winning 3-0. Yeah, I, I'm going to finish this. There's no need to continue there. We were just that good. Uh, Ayala looks like he gets him out of the match. Yeah, back to back to the way he was, where if he plays a game, he gets man the match. I I think he's got he's got nearly nearly sixty points already this season, and he's played six games. I got man the match in all. That is insane stats. That's really good. And Ross went to the quarterfinals of the Europa League. All right, we're gonna play the first team again because we're going into an international break. Let's see what we get. Ayala should get around the match. Uh, yes, he does. He gets 
<laughs> okay, I, I was just making a guess there, and it turns out that was right. So yeah, he's got over 60 points. Out of seven, seven out of seven random matches, and he's got 60 points. That is really, really good. All right, I know who we could have for the quarterfinals of the Europa League. And it's, it's a team that we should be probably beating, or at least competing with. Uh, th that was our U12 monthly report, by the way. That 39 rated fucker. Let's have a look here for any players I can add to the academy. Yeah, we'll add Boyle. Uh, anyone else? I doubt it. Yeah, no, nah, it's not great. Okay. <sighs> We're three points behind Derry at the moment. That's because we lost him. I somehow got him on the match. Um, that's not going to last. We are going to beat them again. Yeah, so there's now six points clear. But we have got a game in hand. And I have to play the second team because we have our quarterfinal match coming up. First leg. And we lose. Ah. A game where Ayala cannot play any role. And it's Castelli who gets a 7.2. Okay, we are playing Lille in the quarterfinals of the Europa League. I think we should be competing with these guys, if not beating them. So, let's see what we can do. I I'd argue Benfica are a better club than Lille. But we're going to find out here whether FIFA thinks that as well. Uh, I have a feeling this is going to be a tighter game than it was against Benfica. Either of the games, the one that I sim technically, or... Well, not technically, I did. I played it the first minute of it. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Oh, that's a that's a fell in the half there from the referee. Well, not from the referee, but... Uh, what was it? Ramos' region got tackled from behind. Yeah, they are playing with a high press. High intense press. Jesus Christ. Oh, here we go. Oh, that was, that was a good block. Get rid of it. Yeah. Well, this is, as I, as I suspected, it's a, a tougher game than Benfica. Um, somehow we haven't conceded. Come on, Adiemo. Oh, they nearly hit it into the pot of Rubio there. I didn't even have to do anything. Rubio's on the run here. Ayala, I need you to come up with him. No, he's just sitting back and letting Rubio do all the work. That's a problem. As I said, the attacking AI is retarded. Rubio just shoot. Yes, he scores. Ayala, you are lucky Rubio is just as good as you are. Just that you play in a more uh, creative role so you get all the all the praise. Rubio just does enough there just to just to stay under the radar. Good work there. That was that was a fantastic solo run from him. Ayala left them all by himself. Ayala, you're a bold boy. You're not gonna man the match this game. Unless you score a hat trick. Rubio is giving us a chance at the semi-finals of the Europa League. Second time as well. This is my second. No, actually, no, sorry. My third time in this competition because I dropped out of group stage the second time. Yeah, of course they score. Yeah, of course. Absolute bullshit the way that ball stayed in. Absolute fucking bullshit. You know when there's bullshit in this game, they're going to score. All right, here they are again. 2-1. Yeah. Yeah, match fixing. Of course it is. Fuck off. Ah, fucking hell. We're doing so shit this half. Like, I literally cannot make a pass. Like, this is literally EA's fucking switch being flicked. See, you were playing too well. So we're going to make sure that your players can't do fucking anything. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. What a load of bollocks. Felled. Oh, it's felled. Of course, nothing's given. Yeah, that's Rubio. No. Okay. Not where I wanted that ball to go. Phillips, keep running. Phillips, look for the ball. For fuck's sake. Oh my god, of course. I, I try to turn and they just stand there and get tackled. You can see the third. <sighs> fucking hell, this is shit. Like, I literally cannot do anything. I can't make a fucking basic pass. Basic hit and run, which I normally do, and there you go. There you go. I'm normally able to fucking pass it. I don't go know how my captain can get seven man matches in a row, have over 60 points, and then out of nowhere just not be able to fucking run. Or make... Rubio, please. Please. Thank fuck. We needed that. Oh, Jesus Christ. I still don't understand the Ayala situation. Like, he's been really fucking bad. I don't get how he can have seven man matches in a row. Every game he's played, he's got man of match, and then out of nowhere, he just cannot make a pass. But I expect someone to better him, or something for him not to get man of the match. Not be, not be in a position where you're not able to fucking pass it. Anyway, Adiyama's coming off for Fitzpatrick. 
Well, no, that's a lie, but it, it sounded a bit more dramatic when I said that. See Doyle trying to get in the box, but that's just not good enough for me. Can someone, like, look for it? Yeah, there. Hit that. <sighs> Bollocks. And of course, three players around there, and none of them decide to attack the ball. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's what I mean with passes. Like, anything that involves Ayala, it turns to shit. Like, it actually turns to shit. Almost as if the game's like, yeah, anything that has Ayala involved, yeah. Do you know what he's basically your player of the season already? Yeah, well, he's not going to be able to make a single fucking pass. Anything involving him will turn to shit. Rubio hit that, yeah. Oh, I wasn't expecting to get anything out of that. Come on, just give, just give us the full time. This has been a shocking display of football of all sorts. First half was okay up until the 43rd minute where that ball went out of play. Well, somehow it didn't go out of play. I mean, I should have, and they scored from that, and then the, the goal directly after where I couldn't tackle them. Oh, and then Ayala just being non-existent. Yeah, Rubio deserved man of the match. Absolutely deserved it. Ayala 6.6, .6, I think that's a bit, I think that's a bit generous. He was at least a 4 today, he was shocking. Second team's playing against Shamrock Rovers. Uh, yeah, let's see, what, what are we going to get here? Do all draw, yeah. Connor knows 6.9, Radnos has 6.9. I'm giving it to Connor knows so I don't have to make any more graphics.